Hi everybody, my name is Nancy and I'm your health coach tuning in once again to provide you with tips and tools that you can use to help facilitate your own journey towards health and wellness. So I want to ask you a question. Are you using your cell phone or is your cell phone using you? You see, these smartphones are so amazing and so powerful and yet can be so destructive if it's not used wisely. It's like Uncle Ben used to say to Peter Parker in Spider-Man. With great power comes great responsibility. I just, I know this is cheesy, but I just really wanted to raise your consciousness around this topic in hopes to create less stress and less anxiety that's caused from these devices. You see, whenever we use our smartphones, it gives us a hit of dopamine, which makes us feel good. And it just trains our mind to keep wanting us more because it keeps making us feel good. Hence why we crave it after we haven't used it for a long period of time. And at the same time, it trains our frontal lobe of our brain to be easily distracted, which is one of the reasons why ADD and ADHD has risen 66% in the last 10 years. Dopamine is highly addictive, and one of the symptoms of dopamine addiction to technology is distractibility, which makes it harder for us to connect to the present moment and therefore can make us feel more anxious. On the other hand, smartphones can be such a great tool when it comes to convenience, from having access to all of the information right at our fingertips, just to be able to reach our destination, no matter where we are in the world, just by entering an address in our GPS. It also teaches us to be resourceful and, and find the answers that we're looking for in a matter of minutes. It also allows us to connect to our loved ones who are far away. It's also an amazing promoting tool when it comes to starting or growing, growing your business. I mean, it's definitely a practical tool that allows us to do pretty much everything that we want to do. But unfortunately, it does come at a cost. And as I mentioned before, one of the main reason, one of the main side effects is it does affect our anxiety levels. It affects our quality of sleep because of the blue light that's in our screen, affects the production of melatonin, which is the hormone that controls our sleep and wake cycle. It affects our memory because we're relying on our phones to remember even the most basic information like our phone numbers. It affects our social connections in the real world, making us feel isolated, which isolation feeds depression. It affects our level of empathy and compassion towards each other, especially if we're constantly dis disconnected from the real world. So it's so important for our physical and our mental health to not give away all of our power to our smartphones. And the best way that we can do that is by implementing these best practices where we can use our phones wisely and responsibly. The first thing is to avoid checking our phones first thing in the morning, unless it's for putting music or listening to something that will serve our personal growth and self-development or skill development, just give yourself at least 60 minutes of no phone first thing in the morning. The second thing is no phones at least 20 minutes before bedtime. Instead, you can read, meditate, stretch, or journal before you go to bed. And lastly, schedule your usage time of social media guilt-free for just 60 minutes every single day. So I hope this message serves you well. If you feel like anybody would benefit from this message, Feel free to spread the love by sharing it. Until next time, my friends, remember, keep progressing on your own journey towards health and wellness. Cheers.